everybody, how are you? Well, here Monday, starting the week, and well, very happy to do well to with the with the many things that I'm preparing for the next courses and conference. And I want to 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 share with you uh, some tips as uh, well. All everybody who follows my work, you know that I put a lot of emphasis in the in how to design and how to develop the upper art uh, to to get fantastic results okay i am preparing a case that is done with spark aligners and the idea with this case uh, is going to be to develop a, a perfect upper art shape that will help me later to solve a severe class 3 malocclusion okay so let me show you some slides about that okay so it seems that it's not a really narrow arch, but the shape of the arch is triangular shape, and I want to modify that to something more parabolic. So the things that I'm going to explain to the technician, I want to expand and rotate first molar at the same time. Okay, I have to use the power of the liner to the rotate molars. I'm going to incorporate, I'm going to add back a good torque while span at the same time. It's important to do it at the same time. And I'm going to use also the power of the compression of the cement to control the torque of the central and lateral incisors. So the way you manage the cement, the second molar, is so important to control the torque of the incisors. Okay, and I'm going to ask for a parabolic and symmetric arch. Okay, this is what I want. So at the end, look at the different shape of the arch, so something narrow to something more parabolic, where I have also compress the seven and it doesn't seem that it's a, a big change but if you look to the morphine you can see the way that i'm changing this the arts this is a lot okay so look at the way i'm expanding the rotating upper molars at the same time also what i'm doing is uh, compression of the seven it's so important to do it and at the end i will get what i'm looking for that is the parabolic Arch, okay so this is the way you have to manage okay this is the way you have to manage the the, the expansion to get the results that you want okay so if you like this video share with your friends share with your colleagues and if you want to more content about this you have the app EB ortho pro in the app store uh, where you can find this protocol that I use with spark aligners also I use this, the same protocols with InDesign and, uh, and what well, you can download that and look and and learn whenever you want because you can download the uh, the lessons okay so thank you very much to be there and hope to see you soon